am Shanice and welcome back to my channel. So last week I did not put out a video, um, but I've been enjoying some me time with just me and my husband. The girls have been gone with their grandparents. So, you know what I'm saying? We had to spend some quality time together. Um, it was a time for us to reset and just relax so i am back this week with another video um actually a video that i did not plan on recording until recently so in one of my previous videos the hcv lock detox um i thought that it was built up in my hair and it was not built up it was actually lint so ever since then the lint has been bothering me um, so I wanted to show you guys how I've been slowly but surely getting the lint out of my lock. So if this is something that interests you, please stay tuned. In the meantime, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I have coming out. And we are about to get into this lint removal video so let me backtrack just a little bit um like i said before i noticed the lint during the acv detox video um but people always tell you when you get locks tie your hair up wrap your hair up blah blah blah, blah. um i did not do that like i was supposed to so i thought that was why i got the lint in my locks but the further i investigated my locks I only have lint in like the first layer, maybe two of my locks. Um, and I noticed it was because like, I've been wearing, you know, these sweaters and different like cotton shirts and lint has been getting trapped in my locks there. Cause I don't have lint anywhere else, like on my top locks, any of that. So it's just in like this bottom, layer of locks that is closest to like my shirts um so like i said this is a very tedious process um if you're not a patient person this process is probably not for you um people have said that they'll dye their hair and you just you know won't see the lint in your locks but if you're like ocd or whatever you just want to be clean and you're trying to get as much out as you can then this is a method that you can try i'm using tweezers to get the lint out of my locks so i'm looking over to the side because my mirror is over here i can't see you know what i'm saying this, i can't see so i don't know if y'all can see i'm trying to stay in the view of the camera so literally all i do is Squeeze it out a little bit. And pull the lint out of the log. You see how that's coming out? I don't know if y'all can see that. So this is the lint right here. I hope y'all can see that. This ain't my my camera camera, this is my phone camera. But anyway, this is the lot, the lint that I pulled out of my lock. And I'll just go through and do this. Um, Actually, I find this <laughs> process very like satisfying. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know, but I like doing it. Um, at a certain point, ooh, here's more lint. So you see this? All this is lint with a little bit of hair in it, but it's, you know, cotton. Lint stuck in your locks. So you can definitely tell that it's not built up. You can see that once you pulled it out. It's not product built up, let me say that. And yes, you will end up pulling some of your hair out, but your hair sheds anyway. Um, but with locking, you know, it's not coming out of your hair. You're locking it back into the lock. You're twisting it back into the lock. So 
you'll be all right if you, you know what I'm saying? Pull a couple strands out. But that's why it's good to use the tweezers because you can control, you know, your grass on the land. You can stop, you know, pull a little bit at a time as you feel is needed. Um, yeah, so I'll just go through and do this. Like, you know, whenever you have time before you get in the shower, after you get out of the shower, you see all that? All that is lint. So, um, you know, people have said to brush your hair to prevent lint getting in your locks. Oh my goodness, y'all, this is kind of embarrassing. I know I had lint in my locks. I did not know it was this much. But, you know what I'm saying? This is me being transparent with y'all. I'm trying to show y'all this is how you get the lint out. So, if you haven't already, like this video, please. Transparency is key. Um, but yeah, how you prevent it, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I did not wrap my hair a lot when I first got my locks, and that probably contributed um, to it. But like I said, I don't have lint anywhere else in my locks. It's literally just at the back. So I'm guessing it's because, you know, this hair is on the nape of my neck where my shirts and stuff are. Um, and that's why there's more there. And once you go through, you know what I'm saying, pull out what you can. I'm doing this actually before... Um, I'm about five weeks after my last retwist, so I'm going to go through and wash my hair. Um, I'll probably do a retwist myself just because um, I haven't done one in a while, not since my hair was like, I had to be less than six months locked at the time. Um, so I want to try it again now that my locks are more mature. Um, I think I can, you know what I'm saying? I have a hang of it now, so... We're going to try this again. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how to use the tweezers to, you know, um, manipulate the lint out of your locks. So hopefully this video was useful. If you guys have any other tips of how to remove lint out of your locks, please let me know in the comments below. Because like I said, this does require some patience is not going to happen overnight, um, especially if you're doing it yourself. It's probably going to take some time um, to get the lint out of your locks. So go ahead. Let me know in the comments. Um, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and I will see you next week.